Hi, this is Eugen, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to identify the first three social media sources that are driving traffic to your website and how to create advanced segments for each of them and analyze the traffic that you get for these three sources, how they compare to each other and how they compare with other metrics. We'll see what insights Google Analytics will provide to us for them. So, to start, we need to identify the main traffic sources from social media. So, what we're going to do is just go to the traffic sources section, select sources, and all traffic. And now we are going to, to see a list with all the, all the sources that are sending traffic to, to our website. So what we need to do is just identify which of them are, are from social media. The, the main source is organic, it's Google. Uh, the second one is direct, which means that are people who just type your website in the address bar or have it as a bookmark. The third one it's email. So okay, we found the, the fourth one is is Twitter. Then we have a couple of referrers and then it's Facebook and stumble upon. Okay, so what we are going to do now is just create an advanced segment for each of them and see how they compare to each other. To create an advanced segment, you need to go to advanced segments and select new custom segment. From here you need to type in a name let's say Twitter traffic because we are going to create this segment for Twitter and we are going to include the source as being twitter.com. Additionally you'll have to add an OR statement because uh, there are different sources that use Twitter. So the second one will be t.co which is Twitter shortener and you'll also want to, to include as a dimension uh, hot suite and tweetdeck or bit.ly that's also another source of traffic. Okay, I think that this is enough. So what I'm going to do next is just test the segment to see if it's working. Okay, it looks it looks like I have some visits from Twitter and tip.co and Hootsuite. I have a name for my segment and I will just save it. Now that the first segment is created, I need to create a segment for Facebook. So I'll select new custom segment, add the name as Facebook, include source facebook.com and it looks that people are, are also using mobile. Okay, let's type in Facebook. And right now, just test the segment. Okay, it looks like we have 120 visits from Facebook.com and two visits from the Facebook mobile version. What you have noticed when I just type in uh, Facebook is that Google Analytics will automatically see what referrer you have, and it will fill it out just in the in the in the first example. Now. Let's save this segment. The data is looking better now, right? Okay, and let's create another one for stumble upon. Okay, so we'll include 
source as being stumbleupon.com you just saw that Google knows that we receive traffic from stumbleupon okay I'm just going to test the segment okay it matches visited and save the segment okay and right now things change for our report you'll see here that from all traffic we get 5% visits of the total visits from Twitter 2.53% from Facebook and 1.62 from StumbleUpon okay so we see here the difference and how they compare to each other we see some spikes and most probably this is when I share articles when I publish articles and you can see the the trends over time and also it displays this because we are in the all traffic report but let's go to the visitors overview okay and here we can see the total visits from each traffic source and how they compare to each other now what we want to do is just go and check the conversions and the goal section to see how how they compare to each other in terms of conversions and uh, goal completions okay so as you can see Twitter is also on the first place on goal completions and we can select specific goals like an engaged visit to see how engaged are visitors from different sources because this goal measure a visitor as engaged if she stays over one minute on the website and we see here that the the visitors are more engaged that are coming from Twitter compared with Facebook and StumbleUpon another goal is readers a reader for my blog is a person that reads at least two articles or pages and again Twitter is on the on the first position and we can also measure subscriptions and see how um, how each of them compare and as you can see here again Twitter is on the first position next we can go and check the content reports and see what pages are, are visited by, by those visitors what are the bounce rate for each of them what's the average type on site what's the, the exit percentage and we can go to pages and see each page how many page views it has and how, how, how different uh, profiles compare to each other so realistically the outcomes that I get uh, by creating these advanced segments and checking the, the visitors uh, history on my website is that I need to leverage more Twitter and try to increase the number of people that are coming from Twitter because they are more engaged with my website and because I get more outcomes out of them or I can also try to make people coming from Facebook more engaged and see and find new ways of getting more people out of Facebook to my website and convert them make them my subscriber or make them a customer now this data is different from a business to another but you can see here how you can create an advanced segment for each profile for each social media profile and analyze them to your own business that's all for advanced segments and social media I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial this is Eugene from Web Analytics Blueprint